Let's talk about running a successful power hour for not only yourself, but for your team so you have duplication of sales and recruits. Now here's the thing, I see a lot of leaders doing this completely wrong and I wanna help you avoid the inevitable of sounding like a drill sergeant when you're running power hours. First of all, we need to keep in mind that people are busy. Like, I'm a busy mom. I have a three-year-old, I have a 12-year-old, I have a brand new puppy who likes to poop and pee everywhere. And I don't wanna sit on a power hour getting trained. I want to get to work. I wanna move my business forward before I literally have to do the laundry, cook dinner, go take my kids to dance and make sure I'm in the school pickup line for like what, like an hour and a half? Can everybody else relate to that? So let's lead your team to success with successful power hours that get them in to action. Let's first start with what I want you to avoid. I want you to avoid being a drill sergeant. And the reason I say this is because I want to say this from a place of love. You have to understand that your team is a volunteer army. They didn't sign up and now you're their boss. They signed up because they want to get away from their boss. So we need to make sure that you're not like having all these expectations for your team that they have to be on these power hours. They're a volunteer army and they are choosing to build their business the way they want to. You as a leader are gonna create a space for them to show up where you can help them work their business. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean you need to be doing five, six, seven power hours a day. That is not something that you need to be doing because then that puts you in management mode. Instead, you and your team should should get together and run power hours and take turns. So right now I think our team has anywhere from four to five power hours a day. I commit to one a week and other leaders are committing to others a week. And when I say leaders, by the way, just somebody who raises their hand and wants to run one of the power hours not just rank. Something else I love to do is I love to have inside of the Facebook group a calendar of here's the actual times and days of the power hours and here's the Zoom ID so people can just pop on at any time. I also text this out once a week to my whole team and I email it all out and I drop it into our team chats as well. Look, you're not gonna be perfect at this. In fact, you probably are gonna suck and that's totally okay. Practice makes perfect. And don't worry if no one's showing up. You need to keep showing up because when you create this space, people will eventually come. I promise you, build it and they will come. Something else I like to do is I like to take action on these power hours in 15 minute increments. Why do I say that? Because I am like ADD over here. And so if I have to send out the same message for one hour straight, I'm going to be completely bored. So what I love to do is I like to have a DMO that I'm going to do each 15 minutes. I set a timer. I put some music on. We jam out. We have some fun, all the things. And then we're taking action together. Sometimes we're in follow-up mode. Sometimes we're 333 If you don't know what my 333 method is, we will have the link for you below so you can get that for training. Sometimes we are re-ATMing people, that's ad tag and message. And so we're getting people back in the groove of having conversations. If you don't know how to run a power hour, I want you to know that's totally fine. You guys can actually get access to my boards and my scripts and my specific DMO that I have for my team. I think it's like seven bucks. Like I usually sell for 97, but I think it's just $7. So you guys can grab that. And then you can just copy it and do it with your team. It's kind of a no brainer. The biggest thing is you want to make sure that this is a space where action is being taken and training is not happening. Training is not action. That doesn't mean that your team doesn't need certain trainings on certain things, but when they're expecting to come to a power hour and then you start training them and no action is taken, they're business isn't going to move forward. And most of the time it will put people into a information constipation state. Confused people do nothing. And I want you to think about the newest person that comes in. The newest person that comes in doesn't understand where the ATM group is, doesn't understand what videos to use, doesn't understand the simple things. And so these power hours are a great way to start implementing all the DMOs and daily method of operations and actions that we take on a daily basis to move our business 
forward. So the last thing I will say is this, avoid getting way too advanced inside of these power hours. Every time you do a power hour, I guarantee you there are going to be new people that have just joined the business that show up to these power hours. If they feel like, oh my gosh, I have no idea what's being talked about. I feel like this is way over my head. You will lose people because their confidence will go to zero. So keep it super simple. Kiss. K-I-S-S. Keep it super simple. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this with your team members so they can start running some successful power hours. And as always, leave a comment below. Let me know, was this helpful? And what would you like to see the next blog episode or podcast episode be so I can help you slay online sales?